I think. I think like and 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 that's why I posted that post and I said to y'all be pillow talking because like if if my chick knocking off first of all she obviously has no respect for you if she letting another dude rearrange her guts in y'all in y'all in a relationship <laughs> so at that point you can't really expect any type of decorum from her like you can't expect her to like not tell this dude everything do probably know you better than you know yourself. Cause she, she pillow talking, especially if you piping her down good. He giving her that work. And then next thing you know, they she light up a cigarette and they, they just go to town talking about, talking about you and all the stuff you do wrong. And then now he see you out in the street and he know he looking at you, man. You're the whole sucker. Yeah. Like you a whole sucker. sucker and you don't know who this dude is. Like it, it, it is what it is. It's unavoidable. Yeah, I um, agree. Nothing you could do about it. Right. So I, I, like, I feel like I do feel like, like that is a dude's biggest fear, though. Like, like knowingly that somebody really like running down on your chick. Like when you know, only way you. I mean, you can't is, control it. Yeah, but to know, like, the only way you're gonna know is if you catch him. Like, if you don't catch him, you're not gonna know. She ain't never gonna give you. Or, no or just say you saw him. You might have seen the message. Or you might have just. I mean, she gonna lie. Oh. She can't lie on the message. You see a message? Yeah, she can. John's get bruh. John's. Right. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I take it. <laughs> yeah, they, they gonna find a way to weasel out of that. I mean, the reason why some of that shit sticking to your script work is because people will be so, they want to believe the opposite, so bad. So right. if she just keeps saying she ain't do shit with this nigga. You gonna wonder by the fifty of time of her saying is like, she yo, gonna believe it. I really want to believe this bitch ain't fucked this nigga. Mm-hmm. She sucked this dick 49 times in my head. <laughs> this 50th jump. That's the, she hit the magic number. Yeah, I was just, about to strangle her on yeah, 48. I'm just going to believe her because this is what, that's what's going to calm me down. Right. And at the end of the day, that's what I'm trying to say. Is like, it's just it's, it's unrealistic to think that you ever found the one. And I'm sorry for being... Okay. Yeah, yeah, dang, dog. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for y'all out there who who uh, who believe in love and fairy tales. <clears throat> it ain't happening. It ain't happening over here. What the? I mean, it's it, even even when I think about it, it's so boring. Like, you, bitch, you ain't fuck nobody. I'm thinking about now. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to make her fuck somebody. Why y'all together or in just life? In, just together? But I'm like saying in general, like, like you ain't fuck no nigga. Now I'm like I'm I'm driving myself crazy because I can't even believe that. If, even if she was the one, like I can't believe you never sucked another nigga dick on on, on behind me on, on my what? watch on your watch. Yeah, your I can't. Watch. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? Yes, I can't believe it. I don't see how. <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't see it like a woman. So I'm, you, so you feel like so in any committed relationship you was in, you feel like, like you feel like somebody never cheated on you. You felt you felt like the respect was more than the love. I don't feel like I've. Not, I'm not saying all situations. I'm just saying I don't recall a situation where I felt like I was talking about the older you, not not so more so the younger, the most like, like the old, like thirty to now. Yeah, like, like I don't, I don't, don't be, like, I don't recall ever feeling like yo, this John is stepping out. Like even when the John that I found out later was stepping out, I was like, dang, I ain't even know. Like I think they, I think they just good at, especially if you don't live in the same house, it's easy. Like. It's easy to cover your tracks. It's easy to to like you don't live in this. Now, if you live in the same crib, you gotta be real. The game good. Is a different. Yeah, the, yeah, game, the game, game is different. 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 But if if you live in, in different cribs, like I'm doing this podcast, she could be getting her back rear ring. I would never know. So, but I never felt like so. Here's the, here's the I was getting cheated on. All right, so I'm gonna present a scenario to you. Mm-hmm. All right. Y- y'all went together. Everything was cool. Basically, the best man scenario. You find out t- ten years later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he hit your man. He hit the chick. Well, I always. He, before I mean, I hit met- your man. He hit you. Right before I mess with you, I always be like, "Yo, you smash." <laughs> <laughs> I asked him. I asked him he did that shit now. He, I asked him yo, man, but by the time you asked, he didn't. But you gotta realize this was ten years ago. Like you know, like I said, the best man. He didn't. He didn't. Hit his chick. I'm, he didn't. Pre, if he did ask, he, it was his girl though. No, it no, was his girl, but he hit. He didn't hit right away. You know what I'm saying? No, he hit while well, it was his girl. He was well, his girl, but it was in college. Oh no, that's which, all right, so you. Question? No, what I'm saying is that how they would you react? Done. Both, both of them. Done. <laughs> so you're not marrying her. 
It was 10 years ago, though. I don't care if it was the 80s. Like, <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Like, because it, it's not about, because if you, if, if, because I, I always ask him, not because, like, I'm worried about him, like, knocking out the drone or whatever. I'm just trying to see, like, if he know, like, offhand anything about this chick. But if I ask him and he say no, and then turn back around, it's like, oh, yeah, I know I said no, but I really did later on. Nigga, and what? he already invested into it? Yeah, no. Nah. Right. Yeah. Y'all both out of here. Yeah. Because it wasn't a point of lie to him in the beginning. Man. But no, he's saying you did it after. That's even worse. Yeah, after, yeah for sure. But like, How you plotting? You plotting on my chick the whole time? And then he really started mangling. Yeah, of course. Well, at no, that point. No, no, no. That, that means I ain't his homie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I mean, homie. we ain't homies now anyway. They cut me off, so <laughs> right. I'm about to just mangle freely. No. It's been 10 years in the way. I mean, yeah. I've been waiting to hit that again for 10 years, girl. <laughs> I was, ho- I knew his character. I should have told him early because then we could have been together because I knew he was going to So that best man home. scenario is, is kind of, I mean, I understand why he hid it from his homie. He shouldn't did it at all, period. Yeah, he shouldn't have did it. At all. The part that made it, it wasn't really that he did it. It's the fact that he profit. He trying to profit off of it now. This nigga wrote it in the book. That's the part that. But got he, he me wrote it like, in the book, thinking his man wasn't gonna read the book though. Or to that's even more. Him. That's even more like no, yo, you, you my man, enough to be my best man, and you think I'm just like so lazy enough not to even read your no, book. No, but the crazy, the crazy part is the way he, the way he, the 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 movie was trash. To be honest with you, because the way he, the way he. Put it in the book. There's no way he like. If I would have read his book. I would have been like, "You knock it off, Reese." Like, nah. The way he put the joint in the book, it was like, nah, bro. It wasn't even for him to put one and one together like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he is right because, like, when you think about it, it was supposed to be fictional, though. Right. I, but I don't even know how he even put the two. Into, I don't even know how he even put the two and two together like exactly. that because it was like. Like, how did you even figure that shit out that he was talking about himself the, and her? The only reason he figured it out is because he kept taking the book. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the time, he kept trying to hide the book from him. He's like, come on, man, I'm going to read this, Joe. You trying to take it away from me, man? You know, I get first dibs. You know what I'm saying? He started noticing. You got to realize when he's watching him, he, he ain't like, that smart, damn football player. But then, he, but, then, <laughs> crazy. but then he went to the bathroom. He read every book. Yeah, every he read the 10 minutes of the book probably. Yeah, that, that's what he got to realize. He was at his bachelor party in the bathroom reading the book because he noticed the boy was trying to keep the book away from he him. He did it one time. He took the book from him one time. That's why he was watching him like, why does nigga keep trying to take the book from me? So that's how he put one and one together because the boy kept trying to take <laughs> So they did, I don't know, man, Hollywood, but... Yeah, it was just the basic scenario of your yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they, they could have did it. They could have did a better job. I I don't think the if that's real life, that wasn't not happening. There's no way. Like that wasn't not happening. He throwing ball. He he probably throwing ball off the balcony for real. Ain't no Lance. So this all, so this, so this my tightest homie. So I'll be like, all right, well, I'll pop this chick in college. We go to college together. Mm-hmm. I'll pop this chick in college. Now. 15 years later, they get married. I'm the best man. I write the book. You read the book, and everybody read the fucking book but him. He finally reads the book. I don't think he's going to be able to put two and two together that I smashed this shit. You're not, even, you're not even thinking about it like he's that. Because like, he's not on that side. He's not thinking that. He's yeah. not even thinking that I'm remotely smashing his shit. Yeah, it's just going to be like, damn. Oh, I smashed this shit years right. ago. Right. So what's putting him in that mind frame of saying, damn. You know what it was? He ain't changed too much. No, you know what it was? Remember when they were at the um when they were at the uh the rehearsal dinner and she was like, um, I wanna thank what you call it for bringing us together. You're a really good friend. And he looked at her like, bitch, like this is more than like more than just friends type the way she was like giving him like probably he was in the corner, like, nah, yeah, shit, like yeah, you there doing, in my time and Yeah, like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. And he looking like, where, where the hell was, where was this? Where was I? Right. And then I think, so from that perspective, that put him in the mind frame. Oh, all right, all right. Otherwise, right. he wouldn't have been in the mind frame. Right. But that happened the day before he read the book. Right, right, right. So he already was like, like, that was kind of strange in his eyes. And then when he read the book, it like tied it all together. So, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. I guess it makes sense. But, yeah, no, nah, everybody cut at that point. <laughs> no, I'm cutting my other homies, too, who knew about it. 
<laughs> y'all, yo, y'all knew about it. Y'all ain't seen nothing. Y'all cut too. Everybody cut, dog. Like, how, how I'm the only one out here. You knocked off my girl, and I'm about to marry her, and y'all why, all know. Why does that hold so much weight with you? Uh, all right, so. Because uh, it's my homie. All right, so say I didn't write the book. And you better get me out by your listen. That would be. Yo, one thing led oh, to man. another. This happened, and this happened 12 years ago. Oh, okay. The time don't matter. It's the, yo, because I believe principal, it, you would have been better off telling me the day after, like, yo. <laughs> Yo, this happened, blah, blah, blah. What if you say, like, yo, don't fuck with her? I mean, I, I fucked her. You don't want to be with her. I'm be like, cool. I'm not. I'm not going to be with you either. So you're not you gonna be my homie no more? No. Why, man? <laughs> why? He said, why, man? <laughs> why you want to be friends with me no more? No, anyway, <laughs> we're friends yeah. here, remember? Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, you going, my man. This is the end. Come <laughs> on, oh, man, we better than that. Nah, bro, you going, my man. I got to let you go. <laughs> no, I got to let you go, my guy. <laughs> I know you still got feelings for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know you still got love for me. I don't know why you, I'm going to let you breathe a little bit. Yo, I got to let you go, my man. <laughs> it's going to hurt you, Martin. It's going to hurt me. I mean, put it like this. Like, it's so many scenarios that we could use for fictional depiction, whatever. All right. of them end with me cutting both of them. <laughs> no, like, 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 that's how the Carter went down. You know what I'm saying? Though Nino fucking his bitch. G money. Bitch. That wasn't him. She was a whore. That yeah, was exactly. That's was, that, was, that, was, that was his bitch. He was mad over a trick. He yeah, was. was girl, he was, he was. That's why he was saying, man, you fucking my bitch. He, man, and she was a, and what he say? You mad over a trick? He was. <laughs> he was a trick. <laughs> but that was his bitch. His, that was a trick, no, though. No, it was his bitch. Yo, so you a cup of trick? Who? He did, though. <laughs> he cupped a trick. It was a trick. But it was his girl, though. It, it wasn't his, it was girl. his girl. It was, it, was. it was his girl who said, like... It was a trick. He cuffed the trick. I knew it was a trick. <laughs> yeah, I know you knew he meant it. He, he was, was smoking trick. crack, so he wasn't thinking too <laughs> sure at that moment. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's no scenario. He was a functional crackhead. <laughs> no, I'm, what I'm saying is that, Nino, you fuck my bitch and you gonna kill me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, but I, I, I hope I don't get to a point where... Like, I love a woman so much that I resort to murking somebody. Like, I'm cool. Yeah, like, I hope I don't get to that point. Um, I mean, people do it out here all the time. All man. the time. Yeah. But I told you, it's a thin line. I don't think it's all about love. Sometimes it might be like, yo, I'm just really trying to show this nigga I'm not to be fucked with. So and then, kill it, him and go yeah, exactly. Him. Well, the bull can't tell the story. So at the end of the day, you kill the bull, the news going to be like, he killed it over some bitch. And everybody gonna take it like he killed over some pussy. And when he really just like, yo, I, I really just wanted to show this nigga I'm not to be fucked with. All right, so you come home, do no dick smashing your chick. You killing him? Why does that bother you so much? <laughs> are you killing him? Are you killing him? Nah, why? In your crib. Upstairs in your bed. Why are you gonna kill them? Well, it, it ain't the man's fault. Now, now mind you, you wanna act off emotion number one. No, what, what, you ain't gonna go back. You gonna go upstairs like ah. No, no, no. What I'm, what I'm saying is, here's the thing. He's in the bed though. He's in my crib. He's in the bed. Yes. Yeah. How did he get there? And he's none of your lady to the cross. <laughs> <laughs> How did he get there? Like you can't. Like that's the part I don't get. Like he ain't, he don't got a key to your crib. Like he didn't. The door wasn't just. She let him in. He he's uh he's a um innocent bystander. He's a guest. He's a guest. Like he innocent. <laughs> like your beef should be with her. No, are you thinking? Yeah, but he's in my okay, bed. okay, but are, are you thinking that logical in that moment though? You're not thinking that logical in the moment. You're not like, let me process this. Why would I go why would I go after him? I think it's more so reaction. Yeah, I'm gonna go after her. And so, now if he so, so, away, so, so he can defend her and whoop your ass if he better no, have better hands than you. No, then he about to get <laughs> shot up. This is this is kind of it's getting kind of tricky. Like, like if he wanted to, if he if he wanted if you want to defend her honor, now I was gonna let you live, my man. But now, 
So you coming up with the burner already out? So you letting the nigga peacefully leave? Yeah. I, that nigga's not leaving with clothes on. What you mean? I'm, I'm thinking irrational. Like, yo, you can get out, but you're not taking none of your clothes, my man. Get the fuck out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, get... <laughs> so <laughs> you can take your car keys, get in your car naked. I don't care. You're not taking no fucking clothes. So what's, what's, what's that going to do? I don't know. Like, it's something got to happen to this nigga. I this nigga it, just naked in my house. Like, no, but it's not. I would have, I would have no beef with you. So you gonna sit there like man, man, put the socks and shit on? All right. Yeah, so John, so like, how grab all your stuff and roll? No, just go roll, roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just go first down, first down. <laughs> if you want to get move the sticks. <laughs> nah, nah. He said, get, you ain't taking that shit with you, my man. <laughs> do y'all roll? Come on. I don't know, dog. Yeah, I he mean, should show me enough respect. If he, don't, if he can't respect that, I'm just letting him leave. Even if it is naked. I mean, niggas gonna have pride. I'm like, man, I ain't fucking leaving out my fucking clothes. All right, then you get him. Um, then he gave me every reason so we can get it on. Now we're not even fighting about the bitch. We fighting because you ain't want to leave naked. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's but that's what I'm saying. Now you took your attention off of her. She skated out. And she off the hook? No, no, she ain't leaving. She's not leaving. What's she gonna sit there? It's, it's gonna be a bad situation. So what do you say to her? Well, she's gonna have to get the words. I, have to, I gotta get this bull... Out of my, my, my way, what like what kind of words is what kind of words you going? So have? what are you doing? Like what are you doing? You leaving? You just walking out? It's your crib. It's your house. Yeah, it's my house, but it's your house. Yeah, it's our house. Mm-hmm. You got kids? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I love her, but are you thinking? Uh, but I'm saying, but but are you in your lot in your right logical mind to say, all right, you know what? I'm gonna let this boy leave. I'm gonna sit and talk to her. I'm not t- first of all, me and her not talking about nothing. There ain't nothing to talk about. You out. You done. So she gotta leave? And it's y'all home? Everybody gotta leave. What you mean? We all leaving. <laughs> just just killing killing everybody, everybody leaving. We all walking out. <laughs> we burning you onto the ground. Start, <laughs> start, start with, over. Start with those sheets. Yo, it's a <laughs> We about to refresh this whole thing. Uh, we walk so, you got kids and everything. Okay, so you yeah, got kids cool. and everything. Like, you got kids and everything. All right, we had a whole... That's so, what I'm saying. Like, that's, so, you got I, a lot invested into the relationship. You got the house. You got the kids. Careers. This is what you got going on. Start over. That's the only thing that's going to stop the reaction is the children in the house. I'm not saying I'm not saying they home at that particular time. They at school. Oh, she nasty, yeah, nasty. Bitch. But but she got the kids. She got the kids somewhere mm. else. Yeah, they at school. Mom babysitting them. So mom, mom helping. Yeah, she accomplished. Of course, <laughs> of course, she accomplished. You knew she was getting dick tonight. Yep. What's <laughs> something about beef was with the mom, dog. That's what I'm saying. Like you, it's so many people that. The, the your wife is the number one culprit. Like nobody else really matters at that point. So it's like I'm not going to expend a whole bunch of energy on this dude when he probably she probably told him she's single or whatever. We going through it, blah blah blah. He's like, all right, cool. Like he's not looking at her like my wife. He's looking at her like a joint on the street. So I'm not going to be mad at him for being a man. Mm. I'm gonna be mad at her because you took the vows. Like. Why would I, now, if I go over here, I'm trying to choke this joint out, and he grabbing me like, oh, I'm, I'm going to have to give him one of these little, you know what I mean, stab him in the rib cage real quick. <laughs> you earned that, my <laughs> man. You should have left out. it alone. We we married. Like, there's a, mar- uh, 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 a marriage quarrel right that, here. That shit don't even... <laughs> that marriage should make it ridiculous. Even more ridiculous. I, that's why I, I feel like I refuse to get married. I feel like... Only way that's gonna happen, like I said, if if y'all see me get married, please please believe she got some bread. He's gonna marry an old white seventy year old lady. No, Betty White. No, she gonna have some bread because I'm not messing. That's back to the back to the, the McDonald's drink. Like I'm not messing with a joint. But she cheated on you. She she's she so flipping bread. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that don't got nothing to lose. Like, hey, you and your biscuit better get the fuck on, bro. Yo, these joints don't be having nothing to lose, bro. Like I rather I rather take my chances with a joint who got a lot to lose. And I don't know what you mean by lose. Would you are you gonna be in the way of them losing it? Nah, they gonna be in the way. They actions are gonna be in the way. Like, cause if we married and she cheating, I get a divorce, I'm getting half a bread. 
you get a chick at McDonald's, what you getting, half her shift? Like, <laughs> what you getting? You're not getting nothing. And it's not worth it. And she probably going to let a uh, dude from the hood knock it down. At least the chick with bread might <laughs> have the decency to bring a dude with some bread in there. I heard this crazy scenario. I'm not sure if it's for every state. All right, say your wife is cheating. Mm-hmm. Wife get pregnant with the guy who she's cheating with. Mm-hmm. The husband can sue the man who she got pregnant by and take custody of the kid. Why would I well. want to do that? Uh-huh. I'm saying it's possible. I'm saying that sounds crazy, right? Like you don't gotta worry about me doing that. Well, say if you were the nigga that was cheating, well, you the nigga that was fucking somebody else's wife. You'll be and you want your kid. Like you got another nigga. Like no, nah, it's my kid now. <laughs> <laughs> Like, fuck no, nigga. And I'm suing your nut ass. <laughs> and you're going to pay me child support. That's what you get. You should learn your lesson next time. That's like a so spanking. Can you imagine that, yo? That could be sick. I got a whole new bitch now and everything. It don't even matter, my nigga. She like, loves children. Like, that could be sick. You should have thought about that. Like, I, 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 laws, though. I wouldn't keep, I wouldn't keep nobody else. That's, that's pretty funny. That's petty. Yeah, I'm right? doing it. Yo, that's petty. Yeah, you doing, petty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me old boy. When he, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to name him. I'm going to name him Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead Williams. <laughs> <laughs> yo. That yo, nigga crazy, yo. Yo, Dickhead. <laughs> Where your homework at? <laughs> Yo, yo, yeah, nah. I'm, <clears throat> I would rather just because you got also remember that kid is going to be a reminder of your wife getting nailed to the cross by uh by old boy by the boy. Uh, well, she ain't got the kid either. So the money take the so pain away. She, she but if he broke though, it's probably going to be a broke dude. He ain't going to have no money to give you. You just going to have his kid another financial responsibility or the for boy, you or the boy Jamal. Huh. <laughs> Oh, by the boy Jam All. Jam All. Jam All that dick in it. It got to just be like a, a petty technicality. Like some boy just like, yo, man, we got to do something for this nigga. This nigga, he got, he got he cheated got, on. Suffering. He got, even on top of cheating on, his wife got pregnant. We, what can we do for this nigga? That's what you think they thought when they made that? I mean, who, <laughs> what else would they make this shit? <laughs> like, That's crazy. I don't know, dog. I, I, I'm, cool. I'm not taking nobody. I'm not taking I'm nobody, not kid. Just to be spiteful. Nah. nah, I ain't doing that either. Nah. I mean, it's probably taking some of the way. Like, yo, man, like, it's better than killing a nigga. No, it's not. <laughs> it's it's no, because you you gave yourself a life sentence. Because now you now you now you financially responsible for this kid, right? No, no not really. Because you gotta realize he's super enough, guy. But he probably uh, broke. Yo, he, yeah, he probably broke. Like, so, you, you really think? Can we garnish his wages? Like, college? come on, what you gonna garnish if you work at McDonald's? Whenever you get money. If it's a McDonald's chick, she. I need half. Why we? Yeah, I need, oh, need half, Eddie. We got, exactly. Why we keep thinking McDonald's don't make no bread? Who? McDonald's made fifteen dollars an hour right now, my man. They oh, ain't they? Ain't they? Ain't they cake in it? Yeah, they good. Fifteen dollars an hour. What is that? I don't, I don't know. Do that. I don't know what they make. Uh, what am I gonna do with fifteen dollars an hour? <laughs> <laughs> What am I going to do with that? To be honest with you, like what that if I made fifteen dollars an hour right now, I'm 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 destitute, <laughs> literally <laughs> destitute. <laughs> like, I, can't I can't do anything with fifteen. What's, what's that? Thirty thousand dollars a year? <laughs> yeah, destitute. I can't I can't, I can't, I can't function, function like that. <laughs> you <laughs> can't even get you, you can't, can't even get a a, a, a crib on fifteen dollars an hour. To be honest with you, like, that's crazy. Like an like like actual like. like a, a mortgage or rent? What, what, what is rent? Twelve hundred dollars? Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty nice neighborhood. neighborhood. Yeah, so that's damn near fifty percent of your salary before taxes. What? I said nice neighborhood. All right, so you going? Well, I mean, you do work at McDonald's, so I guess that's yeah. You in the hood, so you like man, this is shit ain't nothing. Like you living the heart, the heart of the violence. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if if, if the chick is at McDonald's, she not gonna, she not knocking off a CEO. She's That's knocking not, off a... So what is she a drug dealer? She a drug dealer? Yeah. Is she kicking? No. I mean, that's... Griselda Blanco. You can't garnish Griselda Blanco <laughs> wages, though. But she eating. She eating? Eating. She eating, eating. Like, it, it's, it's, not, <laughs> it's not really about her money because you're never going to get to her money. It's, to me, it's more about... Stability? Not stability, but... Financial stability. 
Nah, not even because I'm I'm financially stable, but I'm talking about the drive. Like, do you want to do anything with your like with your life? You want to be your wife. Yeah. <laughs> what? She want to fold. She want to fold your clothes. Wait, wait. I don't need Did that. Again? <laughs> she want to rub your feet. Nah. Cook your dinner. See, I don't need none of that stuff. Like so these bricks on the side. Yeah, no. Nah. What could she do for you? Nothing. Like that's what I'm saying. I don't really need a woman to do much. Like you just want her to be pump, pump and dump, pump and dump, pump and dump, my man. <laughs> pump and fucking dump, yo. yo. That's why she can't do nothing for you? I ain't never heard that saying ever. No, I mean, at the end of the day, like it's not really much that I need. Like, so why would you? I'm I'm only saying all this because now I'm it's curious like then why would you ever get married? That's what I Why would a person get married? I don't know. And and when I hear these when I hear women talking, it seems like a lot of these dudes can't take care of the basic day to day operation. Like they can't run their day to day operation. Like Hmm. they can't make their own appointments, they can't do their laundry, they can't cook, they can't clean, they can't do nothing. Yeah. So they need a chick to kind of get them in line. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't need any of that stuff. Matter of fact, I actually enjoy doing my own laundry. Because you're going you gonna to dry one of my shirts that's supposed to be hung up. And I'm going to snap on you. Like, what are you doing? Like, you're just retarded right now. Why, why are you doing that? So then you need something like a, you need like a little partnership. I need an old pair. That's what I need. Yeah, you, you, you need somebody. You, <laughs> you need a partner, a lifetime partner. And that be that. Yeah. You got your own space. I got my own space. We and y'all come get, through, and we y'all get, get together with, when necessary. Yeah, we get like you got your own life. I got my own. I don't life. want that. We smash. I mean, we hang out, we travel, we laugh. That's it. Like I don't want. I don't need you. Nah. So we y'all need to live together. Not like, you need, nah, yeah. I want to live with nobody, bro. Like, cause I get, I be getting in my moods. Like, I get in my mood where I don't even want to be bothered. Like, people's voices be getting on my like, shut. Up, like I don't even want to hear nobody talking. Like I don't want. Sometimes I just want to be in complete silence, like in the dark, like just be in the dark with some music on, just laying there thinking about like my next play. And when you got somebody living with you, it's like they come in the room, turn on the light, turn on the TV. They, t- what are you? And you don't got no escape. Like where you gonna go? You go wherever you go. They coming. They coming. You're supposed to wake up. Like, 